Hello everyone, this is Talal Hussain and today I'll be telling you the best way to solve the reading and writing section of the SAT to leverage the most on the score that you need, right? Now, most of the students, they tend to go for or they tend to solve the reading and writing section in the order that it is presented, right? So you have craft and structure towards the start, then you have information and ideas, then you have standard English conventions, and towards the end of the paper, you have expression of ideas, right? My recommendation to all my students and to all of you is to solve in a different way, right? Now, since most of the students find the standard English conventions questions relatively easier, I advise that you start your paper with the standard, standard English convention questions. Now, these questions normally start from question number 14 and 15 and they go up till question number 21 or question number 22. My advice is that you solve these questions first. After this, you should go towards the words and context questions that are towards the start of the paper. And after that, you should, you should come towards the expression of ideas questions, the transition and the rhetorical synthesis questions that are towards the end of the paper. Now, all of these questions that I just mentioned will formulate around 50% or even more than that of your paper, right? Now, I want all of you to solve these questions first and try to solve each one of these questions in 30 to 40 seconds. Now, because we have a total of around 70 seconds for all the, you know, uh, for every question on the SAT, if you are able to solve these questions within 30 to 40 seconds, you'll save around 30 to 40 seconds per question. Now, how you can invest that? You can invest that time on the difficult reading question. You can invest that time on the cross text connection questions where you have multiple passages. You can invest that time on the claim questions where you have to read a lot. You can invest that, that time on the inference questions where you have to think a lot critically, right? So because, you know, reading those passages takes a lot of time that normally takes more than 70 seconds. You can save this time from over here and you can, you know, invest that time on that, on those questions. In this way, you know, you will be able to manage time properly and you will be able to leverage the most on the questions that you, you know, that you understand the best, right? Whereas if you go for the reading questions first, well, the problem that it creates is normally students, you know, waste a lot of time over there and they fail to leverage on the easy questions of the test as well. So they, inv they invest 80, 90 seconds per question on the, you know, reading part. And when they come towards the standard English questions, they are not left with enough time to complete those questions, although they knew all of those questions better and they could have scored, you know, better on those questions. So to avoid all of these problems, to avoid all of these hassles, just try to solve your paper in the order that I have told you and you'll see, you know, the improvement in your score, hopefully. I'll repeat the order. First, you have to solve standard English convention questions. Then you should solve the words in context questions that are normally towards the start of the paper. And then you should go for the expression of ideas questions. And after that, in any order, you can attempt the remaining craft and structure and information and ideas question. Try to, you know, follow this order and you'll find improvement. If you have any other problem, you know, you can uh, put your query or your question in the comments below and we'll try to answer your questions. And, you know, for further practice, I would really recommend that you download our Charger app. You'll find the link to downloading the app in the description below. Thank you so much. I hope this video would help you.